Welcome to our lesson on the average value of f of x, y over a region. The average value of a function of two variables is equal to 1 over a times the double integral over the region r of f of x, y, where a is the area of the region r. One way to make sense of this formula is to remember that if f of x, y is positive and continuous over the region r, this double integral here would give us the volume under the surface. So if we take this volume and multiply by 1 over a, which is the same as dividing by a, and remember a is equal to the area of the region r, so if we take this volume and divide by, and divide by the area of the region, you could think of this as the same as taking the volume of this box and dividing by the area of the base, and that would leave us with the height. So you can think of the average value of f of x, y as the average height of the surface over the region r. Let's go ahead and take a look at an example. We want to determine the average value of f of x, y equals e to the x plus y over the region defined here. So x is on the closed interval from 0 to 2, and so is y. So this would represent our region of integration. So in our formula, a is going to be the area of this square. So this tells us that a is going to equal 4. So the average value of this function over this region is going to be equal to 1 over 4, or 1 fourth, times the double integral of e to the power of x plus y. And for this, the order of integration is not going to matter. We'll integrate first with respect to x, and then with respect to y. So our limits of integration will be from 0 to 2 for both integrals. So we're going to integrate with respect to x, treating y as a constant. And if we're not sure if we need to perform u substitution, let's go ahead and check it. If we let u equal x plus y, then the derivative of u with respect to x, this would be 1 and this would be 0, so we'd have 1 dx. And this is telling us we do not need to perform u substitution. So this is going to be 1 fourth. Then we'll have e to the x plus y evaluated at the limits of integration. Remember, because we integrate with respect to x, we're going to replace x with 2 and 0. So we're going to have 1 fourth. So we're going to have e to the 2 plus y minus e to the 0 plus y or e to the y. And now we'll integrate with respect to y. It's going to give us 1 fourth. The antiderivative of e to the 2 plus y is going to be e to the 2 plus y. And the antiderivative of e to the y is going to be e to the y. Let's go ahead and finish this on the next slide. So we're going to have 1 fourth. And then when y is 2, we'll have e to the 4th minus e to the 2nd. And then when y is 0, this will be e to the 2nd. And this will be minus 1. Let's go ahead and simplify this. We'll have e to the 4th. We're going to have minus 2e squared. And this will be plus 1. This is actually a perfect square trinomial. We'll have 1 fourth of e to the second, e to the second, and then we'd have minus 1 minus 1. So we can write this as e to the second minus 1 squared divided by 4. This is approximately 40.82 divided by 4, which would give us approximately 10.2. So let's go back and take a look at our picture. Here's the surface over this region. Notice it's non-negative and continuous, so 10.2 is the approximate height of this surface over this region. Let's take a look at the graph of this surface over this region. So what we're seeing here in purple is the surface, and then I've bounded this region by these yellow planes. So 10.2 would be the average height of this surface over this region. Let's go back to our work just for a moment. Notice that before we divided by 4, we had 40.28. Because that surface is continuous and non-negative, 
over that region, this 40.82 would be the approximate volume above the XY plane below this purple surface. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you.